Hare Krishna to everyone and welcome to my video blog Krishna story every day. As every day, today also we are going to speak about uh, divine stories and uh, philosophy about Krishna. Uh, see, in this world are existing many kind of people. <laughs> Uh, some some people are yogis, some are mystics. Uh, some people try to uh, do jnana or or philo they are philosophers. They try with uh, philosophy to understand God. Some people uh, try to understand God by their hard work. You know they work hard and then. They offer uh, something from their uh, fruits of their action to God. See, the, and finally, there are people who are called uh, devotees of God, who practice something what we call uh, devotion. So, actually, God cannot be achieved by our own endeavors. We can be work so hard, but that cannot conquer his heart. Uh, he say openly, he is not conquered by yogis, by mystics, by people who has some power, or people who are very intelligent, who can think nicely. No, he always say bhakti. Only bhakti, only love can uh, control him, and only love can... At, with only person who has this love can achieve him. See, love for God is like big ocean, who is not easy to be understand. Uh, many people he's writing many books about this love. They study this love, and uh, we can learn. See, it is natural for every one of us, for every living entity. Only two things are natural, and that is to love, is to be. And desire to be loved. We all live for this piece of love to experience from uh, other people. We are always trying to get this love. It is like f f fuel which moves us. We see people who are in love, they are energetic, they have power to cross over all obstacles in life because love is really something that is guiding them. But uh, see, Krishna is saying that there are big personalities in this universe, Brahma, Shiva, uh, Indra, but uh, they don't have the love which Madhurya Shoda have. It is not that they don't have mercy of God. They have mercy. Every one of us has mercy. Even that we are today, every day we are getting our, our air, our food. God is supplying us. He is maintaining us, means He has love for us, He is taking care for us. But this is not the same as the love of Madhya Yashoda. Because Krishna would sit on her lap, He would drink His milk, He would embrace her, He would eat with his hand, with, from her hands. You know, if she don't feed God, He will be... Uh, he will be uh, hungry. <laughs> so, uh, that God is, uh, is very special and very interesting. He has many different habits. And in order to, and to start loving Him, we have to learn a little bit more about His character. And He, he has a very strange character. <laughs> very interesting. For example, He has a uh, habit of stealing. We all know how this uh, stealing habit is not good. <laughs> we always condemn people who steal we, uh, and we point over them that they are doing something bad. But stealing of God is not out, out of need. You know, as we, we need some money, we need something, then we steal. No, he is stealing is actually out of love. Uh, see, sometimes Krishna go and uh, steal butter from the house of uh, 
his uh, parents of, of, from the house of neighborhood ladies, and sometimes they catch him, you know, and they bring before mother, and they say, oh, uh, well, your son is stealing. And Krishna say, oh, why to, uh, how to say, mm, why to, to waste our butter? <laughs> butter of the neighbors is more sweet, <laughs> more tasty. You know, as when I was a child, sometimes we were offered food in our house and I would eat, but it's not so enjoyable. But when you visit the neighbor or a relative, or it is always the same food is much more tasty in another house. <laughs> so, uh, sometimes Krishna is asked, why you steal, actually? And his answer is, actually, he don't steal the butter. He actually still love of these personalities, of these uh, devotees of God who are living near him. <laughs> so, even sometimes he is chastised. Sometimes Madhuri Shoda come and say, oh Krishna, why you are stealing, you know. And he enjoy, like we spoke in last days, how he was tied up with rope. He enjoy in these uh, uh, feelings, in this exchange. See, sometimes people think I must be just called before God, you know, don't show any feeling, just pray. And, uh, but God wants to have relationship. Sometimes even when we are angry at Him, <laughs> He is happy with this because it means um, that you, you have relationship with Him. If, he just quiet, if you are just quiet, He will be also quiet. But you, if you are making noise, God, or this, that, or if you offer love, or whatever, we should have, offer, have to develop this relationship with God. Like in India often they keep these small, small uh, statues of Gopal. It is a K Krishna, how he is stealing butter, you know, and by uh, keeping this Gopal, even small children develop some relationship with God. They feed him, they bat him, uh, they fan him, they give him some flowers, some water. And this is the way how we can make spiritual progress, progress because we develop mentality of serving God. Uh, and what kind of mentality we will develop in this life, this will lead us to the next life. In Bhagavad Gita, it is right, and what kind of consciousness you develop during your life, that will lead you to the next life. It is not that just by doing some prayer or charity, you will achieve some spiritual level or you will attain heaven. <laughs> it's not like that. You go where is your consciousness. If your consciousness is elevated on the level of highly advanced spiritual beings, you'll go and be there with them. If you're on low level, you'll stay there. It's not question of deeds, it's question of developing, uh, um, how to say, uh, uh, proper state of mind. And Krishna say he give vimukti to those persons who develop this spiritual consciousness. This means they attain liberation from this world and they get chance to live with God. Can you imagine how wonderful is this, that you can live with God, you can speak with Him. You can eat with him. In the, in, mo, in many different spiritual traditions, they don't have these details about personality of God. They don't know how God looks. Like when I, I started ask, uh, uh, when I started asking questions in uh, my own uh, religion, they always uh, say, "Don't ask this. This is dogma. These are questions which should not be asked." You know, so some questions, but in a Vedic tradition, there is clear description how God look, how God looks, uh, what is His name, where He lives. So we should uh, take opportunity of this uh, knowledge and make uh, our own spiritual advancement. You know. Uh, see, sometimes. Uh, People offer so many prayers to God. Like there is also yogis, mystics. They offer different stotras, different uh, prayers. But 
God said, he say he sometimes even don't pay attention to these prayers. He pay more attention to his cows <laughs> who say, moo. <laughs> he want to embrace them. Then they lick him with, with their tongue, you know. Then he milk them. Why? Because they have this intense, intense love. That, that is uh, what can con conquer him. See, sometimes people often pray, Oh God, make me your servant, make me your servant. But in Vrindavan, in tradition of Bhakti, God, he say, how I can become your servant? He want to be servant of those great lovers of him. <laughs> That is opposite than in this world often. You know, he don't want to see in us this fear from him where we'll be subordinate. No, he wants to be that we become so close to him, you know. Uh, see, sometimes <laughs> um, developing this uh, proper spiritual attitude in our heart is very important. Uh, See, he's so close with his friends and with his uh, these ladies in Vrindavana that there are many, many amazing stories. Today I will tell you one. <laughs> Once there was one lady, one gopi, this is the way how they are called in Vrindavana, uh, the ladies who live in these villages. Gopi, these are ladies who take care for cows. So one time this lady was so much eager to see Krishna, so she was looking where is he. And she found him in Goshala. Goshala, or in our language we say Shtala, is similar, or place where uh, cows are keep. So she came there, and she came under excuse that she was needing cow dung. See, in small villages in India, cow dung is very important because they don't have so much trees, and also they don't want to cut the trees for their uh, wood or for, for their cooking. So they take cow dung, who they put on their walls, then it dry up, <laughs> and then from this cow dung, they burn and cook their lunch. And this cow dung is very good. It become almost it, uh, like, um, it make a nice fire. <laughs> so the gopi came in the how in the in the goshala or in, on the place where cow, cows are keep, and he meet Krishna there. Krishna look at her and say, Oh, what you are looking here? And then the lady said, You know, Shama Sundar, Krishna, I need some cow dung. Oh, Krishna said, How you pay me? <laughs> if I give you cow dung, you need to pay me. <laughs> I, know, I mean, cow dung is no, no, you know how word is, is free. <laughs> it's everywhere. But this lady, she wanted... But Krishna wanted to make business. He say, I want to take some money. Then Krishna say, okay. Then, then this lady say, okay, Krishna, you're the boss. And you decide how much I should pay. Then Krishna told and he say, okay. For one bucket of cow dung, you should pay me with one big bowl of butter. <laughs> and then lady say, okay, no problem. So she took cow dung in, the, in this bucket but it was so heavy. She said, Krishna, I cannot put on my head. Can you help me? Then she, uh, then Krishna helped her. Put, so lady put this cow dunk on the head and started walking. And Krishna said, stop, stop, wait, wait. How I know how many baskets you will take? Maybe I need to go home to eat. And you work all day here and take many, many buckets of cow dunk. <laughs> but then lady said, okay, Krishna, we'll have a deal. For every cow dunk bucket what I take, I'll put one line on your, on your uh, cheeks. So we'll know how many lines say they are there. So I'll, I'll give you so many, so many, uh, these balls of butter. Krishna said, okay, no problem. So lady took one bucket, she went away. Then I came, took another bucket. In the meantime, Krishna would uh, take little uh, cow dunk and he was putting himself everywhere, uh, lines, so he would get uh, much more butter. <laughs> so you see, see, uh, this is kind of relationship what uh, God 
Krishna has with his dear uh, devotees in Vrindavan. It's so much love, so much exchange that is uh, amazing <laughs> that we can have with God this relationship, who is really wonderful. So I hope you will be inspired to work on your relationship with God and offer your feelings to Him. It is so simple, actually. Developing love for God is so simple, but we make so complicated with our own mind and thoughts. Uh, this is everything what I wanted to say today. We saw how actually God is so eager to, un to, to have our love. What we can offer him? Big cakes or, uh, I don't know, <laughs> to offer him a planet? <laughs> he say, he's the Lord of all planets. He don't need planets. <laughs> he just need our, our self. It is so simple. It is so easy. And if we try to add God somehow in our life, um, we'll make spiritual advancement. Someone asked here, J Jai Vekaria, how do not get, how to don't get attached to results of, yeah, in life we are all often very much, we work hard, we get results, and then we think, oh, it is our, we try to tight, to, ho to hold hard this. Ah, we should understand that everything is temporary. <laughs> uh, one day you lose everything, you like or not. That will come. They say last packet has no, last shirt has no packet. <laughs> uh, so one day we lose everything. Uh, better, so Krishna say you work, but don't be attached to the results. See, sometime in life we need to do so many things. For example, myself also need to work or sometime I become attached, you know. Yo, I, I want to be successful. But it's not up to you. Success or loss is not up to you. Up to you is only to give your best. And the providence, God, will decide you'll get result or not get result. See, sometimes we work so hard and you cannot see result. You don't earn money. But then you don't work nothing and something come. Means you are not one who decide. This do not mean that you don't have to work. <laughs> no. There is a saying who say, you give your best and lift to the God the rest. <laughs> uh, see, when we are not attached to the results of our work, we become so happy. This is so happy, good feeling, you know. When you know you give your heart, you give your everything, and then whatever happened, you know. So, Jai Vekaria, please try to practice this and... It may be help for you. Thank you very much. I think this is Fanash. Okay, thank you also. Please like this video, share with your friends. And uh, I hope I'll meet you also tomorrow. Every day around 7, 7.30 will be online. And uh, I hope you'll get spiritual inspiration. We have a little bit more. Uh, tomorrow we'll speak about Damodar Lila and how this, uh, how Krishna... Uh, this, uh, turn, turn it down these two trees and uh, what was previous life of these trees which Krishna pull, pulled down I think it will be very interesting thank you very much and uh, please like this video and share with your friends thank you and Hare Krishna